Hey, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back. Uh, so after the last episode, I did some cleaning up. I went to the uh, the areas that we uh, been through already, and I was like looking for stuff that I missed and all of that. So I found I found I found a, a couple of things like uh, suits, cans, and all of that. So I'm wearing this now because I found it, and uh, just wearing glasses still. Look at the Lara Croft, <laughs> Lara Croft glasses. I don't know if it was PS1 or PS2, but it's uh, smaller than Lara Croft's uh, glasses. But anyway, um, uh, last episode we defeated. Uh, also, I found suits for Adam and uh, Lily. But anyway. Um, all I did was clean clean up. Like we've been we've been through areas and I've, uh, I've like r rushed yet, through them. But anyway, stand and walk like this. what are they doing here? I just, it's good to see. So, just what is it that brings you two here? I have a request for you. At one point, a small drone came to the bar. A drone? Oh, you mean Digger? The drone heard Enya singing, said it recognized the song then just left also digger is here Done now everything i can but i can't seem to find that drone eve i'm sorry to bother you with this if it has something to do with my lost memories do you think you can get more details from the drone well digger should be in zion it shouldn't be too difficult to find out oh, thank goodness I'll let you know the second I hear anything. In the meantime, you should head back. Best to stay safe. Oh, I gotta show you the suits that I picked up. Thank you. Always. Uh, I didn't do any, like, anything other than just cleaning up and stuff like that. Um, a Digger is here now, since we finished his, uh, side quest. Uh, but anyway. Let's take a look at... Let me show you the wardrobe. So we got this, Black Wave. I've already seen this and the fluffy bear this was from uh, the side quest we did with uh, what's her face Kara I picked this up I think yeah that this is no this also blue man soon uh, this I believe this one was like it was in a box that we couldn't open I think because we didn't have the code. Uh, we already have that. Picked up that. Daily Sailor. This. Some cool. And also, uh, Holiday Rabbit. Look at that. <laughs> Man. And the rest, we've already seen that. And, uh... This is Rainy Day, and... Chameleon, junk man. But anyway, that was it. Oh, also, I did a lot of fishing. I did a lot of fishing, and I caught a goldfish, a mudskipper, betta, butterfly fish, and lobsters. I wanted to catch all the fish. Got mahi mahi, halibut. Got ocean sunfish, sailfish, Pacific bluefin tuna. I couldn't catch any gigantic fish. I caught a whale shark though. Yeah, so I was fishing. I, I spent a lot of time fishing, but I don't know. I tried to catch the uh, gigantic fish but I couldn't let's look for let's look for digger let's not waste time I'll look for digger he set up shop around here like a corner here over here I think yeah here there he is hello buddy hi digger how are you finding things here are you liking Zion this environment appears in need of beautification. I'm currently learning the rules of the city after that has been done. Let me check the 
shop. I'm, I remember that he fixed our, our broken uh, weapon core, right? And, but weapon core sold out. I have to go now. I don't have. We'll see each other again. Yeah, I have two Hello. broken cores that I found. The location has. Yes, digger. Or we have it already, like from previous episodes. I was trying to remember Digger. who fixed it, but I believe it's Digger. You were the one Digger. who spoke with Enya, right? Yes. Artistic activities are truly amazing. It was my first time hearing a song. I feel like my understanding of human culture has improved considerably. I heard you know something about the song. I would like you to tell me more about it. Yes, Eve. You're a very special guest, so I'll tell you. The information actually has to do with Enya's song. I traveled through many different regions before settling at the Scrap Plains. I collected 149 petabytes of data during my journey. When in Zion, I discovered there was a person there who sang a song that matched previously recorded voice data in my audio archive. Different singers can sing the same song. No. The data similarity is so high that it leads me to believe it's the vocalization of the same person. I acquired this data from a location called the Opera House. It is now known as the Buried Ruins. Now I've told you everything I told Enya. Alright. It's all starting to make sense, I think. Thank you, Digger. Doesn't I'm glad to be of service. Please drop by again. Any sense? What are you talking about? Um, yeah, so after, after doing his quest and he failed to do whatever he wanted to do, I found him here. Um, let's see, should we go back to, do we have a new mission? Where is, it's in the Great Desert since they showed me I can go to it from here. So let's go to the go to the great desert wait is it through here no this way I think it's faster I was looking for stuff. It was a lot of like running around, checking everything on the map until I, you know, that's why it wasn't on episodes because we've been there. It wasn't on the episodes because we we've been there before. It was like uh, something I didn't see that we can climb up on and stuff like that. It was boring, and I, I was I was looking. I mean, uh, pretty sure boring to watch. That was, I'm, I'm, I mean, this game is awesome. I plan on doing uh, New Game Plus <laughs> on my own time. That's how much I'm enjoying this game, even after doing all the cleaning up. Because I'm not sure. I'm, I think there is a point of no return. That's why I'm doing all of that. Oh, finally, we get to. We get to go here. This must be. I mean, we've been here before. It's obviously ancient, but it looks so different from other ruins. I should investigate this more. Yeah, we've been here before, but we couldn't do anything so, because. So much like the one Enya's always seen. Because uh, it's connected to a side a bit quest. Different. It might be included in some of Enya's lost memories.
Yeah, the and music here was louder. Ooh. Your condition during rehearsal doesn't matter. Today's performance is the real thing. All you have is acting and singing. Oh, and my fans. Shouldn't forget about them. I'd better make sure there's nothing to be embarrassed by a century from now, huh? Though it may be a problem if I'm seeing this in a hundred years. Anyway, I got this. Beyond fate. Right now at the Art Center, be sure not to miss another spectacular performance of Madame Machine. Witness the artistry of every glamorous member of the Eidos Opera Company. Featuring the sensational showstopper Beyond Fate, performed by the marvelous Enya as the main character Katakuri. What will be the fate of Katakuri? Will it be due? Will it be honor? Or will it be love? We are holding a lottery to participate in the Eidos Opera Company autograph signing event. More details can be... Let's change the subject. Anya, the people in your life have said that you've been over the moon to star in such a moving performance. I couldn't even hear. By singing, you mean beyond fate, right? How does it feel? It's become quite a sensation across social media platforms. It's surreal. I never expected this much interest. I couldn't be more grateful to all my fans. Some people have said that after hearing the masterpiece, they've been hungry to find out who this Enya is. Yeah, um, the song here is louder than the and the dialogue or the recording. Okay, I've seen something in the wall over there, but did I? What's with you, buddy? You okay? System. I see a familiar face. Is that Enya? Oh, whoa. Well. data here as well. Is that Enya? Let's see. I'm going beyond fate to be with him. What? So she, like, entry token. What's going on? I have no idea. She became a machine? Madame Machine, main actress, artificial actress, Enya. You can never totally rely on analog information transmission sources. The person here does look really similar to our Enya. And she even has the same I want to say. Yeah, she looks exactly like her. Not. the last one Hall of Harmony Madame Machine Ados Art Center Information about time host organizer and sponsors Target audience how to watch admission on first come first serve places Seems that an autograph session with the stars was held after the performance. They even had a souvenir shop inside the art center. Hmm. There seems to be more from what I've gathered so far. It's like Digger said the Enya here and the Enya and Zion. Beyond Faith. Was that the title? Let's see. So there was a performance here, and Enya was the lead singer. Is that about right? Our memory sticks are designed to store the most important information in the deepest places. The fact that that song was the only memory Enya had left proves just how important... Isn't that enough? I don't... Come on. Let's go. 
Let's get them. Okay then. Let's go. Okay, we're done. So she's the oh, nice. Okay. So she's been here for a long time. How did everything Beyonce, go? that's probably her side quest. Well, I found important information, thanks to Digger. It's about you. About your life before. It might just be speculation, but I think it's safe to assume Digger is right. I also found out the title of your song. I'm listening. You used to be an artist, in a broader collection of artists. But this was the most important clue. <laughs> Man, you have this glass is so ridiculous. I love Machine. them. The song you sang in it closely resembles the song you sing now. The song's title is Beyond Fate. Beyond Fate. Is that so? Yes, though that's only part of the whole picture. It's okay. This is enough. Are you... Are you sure about that? I still have more to share. Hmm. Beyond fate, my past self could be urging me with those very same words. To try and make peace with the past I've lost and accept what I have now. It seems as if my obsession has troubled many people. But now, I have someone looking out for me. Isn't that all that really matters? Well, I suppose Someone without right. a face. Eve. Thank you. You've done <laughs> I mean, so Sue. much for us. Look at him. All right. Take this data. I don't even know what, what he's supposed to be. You fully restore beyond fate. Okay. Thank you, Eve. Is he human? Is he? If I may, <laughs> could I maybe ask you to sing that song for me now? Oh, I'd be happy to. Now she's performing, not just singing. Maybe that's his helmet. What are you, a Mandalorian? going to take can't even skip I tried <laughs> That was beautiful, Madame and Machine. Alright. 
we're at 20 minutes now. Uh, I really want to get into the new area, but maybe we'll, this episode will be short, shorter, and then on the next we'll start. Uh, we'll start the uh, the new area. Abyss Levois, I think. Yep. But we'll go. We'll find a. Uh, we'll go to the Great Desert, and then we'll find. We'll find a uh, camp maybe. Near the entrance. And then we'll wrap up there. Zion. Back to the tetrapod at any. Take me to the great desert, please, Mr. Uberman. So, let's go to the Oasis. Let's go to the Oasis. Yeah, there, there was a, that chest over there. We didn't have the code for when we found it, but I found the code. So let's go find a camp and then continue or start the new area. Start the new area on the next episode. Microcoil. Look at this. Desert. Oh, I can see Abyss Lavoir. What kind of facility is Abyss Lavoir? There are some records of weapon research according to the map data we've got. Does it have to do with the Natibas? I can't promise it doesn't. All right, that that is it for this episode. The shortest episode we have so far but um i want to do the next uh, the next area on a you know on a new episode like uh, an episode of its own so anyway thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you on the next one peace